Hello and welcome aboard this bus. We have just crossed over the Mitchell Freeway on Beach Road and are now turning left into the Warwick Station busway. Here there is a very sharp curve which goes all the way back so you're parallel to the road you were on before. Pretty much a 180 degree turn as you can see. And then this is the Warwick Station busway. The cars can also go in here but then they have to turn right here and go to the car park but I'll show you that later from the outside. Right now I just want to show you how long the busway is to access the station. So we've already been traveling on it for like 100 meters from the traffic lights there. And then it turns right here and you go parallel to the freeway like this. You can see that's the southbound Mitchell Freeway. And then you go down here and underneath the pedestrian sky bridge and then you go up and curve to the left and then you finally access the station. So it takes like a whole minute just to travel the length of the busway. But obviously nothing's gonna beat the length of the Rockingham station busway. That's just incredibly long. It's even got bus stops in it. You can go back and watch that video if you want to see that. And here we are and on to the station now. It goes into the right hand side and stops. Back here we are at the traffic lights where the bus turned in. So you can see how the cars have to go there, stop and wait for any buses going out and then go into the car park. While the buses can continue straight ahead here and there's also some layover bays right there. And a little path down from Beach Road so you can go straight here. So now I'm going to cross over into the car park as a pedestrian. This is where I have to go. Go over here. And then, yes, this is the car park here. On the right hand side, there is also a daycare, like right next to the station. That's just how it is. It's been there for decades, so it just stayed there. And this is the big car park here. And a uh, cell tower at the end of it. There's lots, lots and lots of bays, about 830, I think it is. This weird path that just curves around that specific plant for some reason. It is a staircase down into the layover bays, but it says do not go down there. And then some PTA car parking bays, and you can walk all the way along to the pedestrian sky bridge. Down there you can see the busway which I just showed you. Uh, yeah, so let's go and take a look down there now. And here we are. You can see there's a bike shelter here. This is right out the front of the pedestrian access to the station. Over there where there's some seating and parking machines to wait for anyone to pick you up and also a taxi rank. Here's the curve where the buses go up. I'll definitely film some bus clips from here later, very good spot. And then behind there, there is a motorbike shelter as well. And all the other car parking bays, but we're not gonna go and take a look at that because it's just the same, same. And then there's this little secret path which takes you over the Mitchell Freeway and goes to some completely different exit for the station. So let's take a look at that. So you come around here, right next to the busway on the left hand side. So then you, and then you go here and there's a fence and then you cross over the freeway and go right past the station. So if you want to use this path you have to go out to the car park and then back this way. There's a train coming down the hill entering the station. Let's just take a look and one leaving as well. Okay, keep walking, you can see the bus interchange there and the buses also wait on each curve of the interchange as layover. And then to cross the northbound bridge there's for some reason a fence while it's not on the southbound. That's strange. 
and then you can come across to the Methuen Way exit right there onto that little the, uh, residential street so yes this is Warwick train station it originally was a bus station here which opened in 1987 and it was just serving a lot of express buses that went along the freeway to serve the growing northern suburbs and then there were two freeway ramps in the median of the freeway which just came up and straight into the bus interchange here and then you could connect to feeder services as well but this bus station only lasted for five years as they had already started planning the train line and construction began on the 16th of November 1991 and it was meant to be complete by December 1992 but then the station opened on the 28th of February 1993 and soon after the old bus station was demolished and the land on which it stood was converted to some old car parking bays. The new bus interchange for the train station is quite unique as it is located directly above the platforms on a suspended concrete deck which is held up by a lot of beams which stretch down into the platform. This is the most expensive part of the train station because it was constructed right above the platforms for simplicity when transferring. But this means that this station is one of only two on the network which is a controlled station. So it doesn't have open stations by charter processors, it does have closed ones, but they are on the skybridge when you're exiting the station, which means when you're transferring between the train and the bus, you do not have to use them, as if the smart rider will automatically tag you off the train when you tag on the bus, and the other way around. So here is a PSP which runs alongside the freeway. You get a great view of the station from here, and then you can go down and access Beach Road up there to your right-hand side, which is, I guess, a good way if you miss the bus to... If you're up for a big sprint, you run all the way here and then catch it on the next stop. But I think it's highly unlikely you do that unless there was a lot of traffic holding the bus up in the bus interchange and it waited at the traffic lights for a long time. You might be able to do it, but it's not worth it. Just wait for the next bus, like seriously. The other station, of course, is Whitford's, which is very similar in design to this one almost exactly the same but it's pretty much just the mirror image of this one with the buses accessing the station from the southern side while here they access from the northern side and the staircase and ramp and everything is just flipped around which I'll show you later. Also the poles here that hold the bus deck up are painted green and the ones at Whitford's are painted red and also the ramp at Whitford's is painted yellow while here it's painted black so you can easily distinguish by looking at those two features. So the suburb that I'm walking in right now here is Dunkray. Warwick Station is located 13 kilometers from Perth in Fairzone 2, serving the suburbs of Hammersley, Warwick, Kareen and Dunkray right here directly, but then of course all the feeder services to other places as well. And now we're walking across the recently resurfaced Beach Road Bridge to get back to where I started the video. Strangely, Warwick Station is I think, what, the only station on the Green Lap Line which is in the median of the freeway, which does not have a freeway exit right next to it. So all of the others have a car freeway exit right next to the station, but this one doesn't. So if you want to get here like from the freeway and access the station, you can't, which means you have to go all the way to the actual Warwick Road, which is another like, kilometer further north, which is quite strange because this is where Warwick Station is, but Warwick Road is not here, it's instead Beach Road. That means that the train replacement buses can't go off the freeway to access it, which means they actually drive on the streets between Greenwood and Warwick, especially when going towards Perth, since otherwise the train replacement bus would have to do a weird loop to get back down onto the freeway once it leaves Greenwood, which means it actually just goes along Glengarry Drive, where the 444 route goes, and then along Daviala Street or Road and comes here onto Beach Road serving Warwick Station and then goes uh, through Kareen and continues on to the next freeway entrance. But in the other direction it's completely different, like it's not even the same route. In the other direction the bus goes through uh, the actual suburb of Warwick where the 445 route goes and then reaches Greenwood Station by, that, by going on the freeway between Warwick Road and uh, Hepburn Avenue. Anyway, we're now on the pedestrian skybridge here. 
I did a whole circle around the station, got back to the traffic lights, and now here is where there is a smart rider at value machine, ticket machines, and the closed station smart rider processors, as I said before. But as you can see, it's outside of the bus interchange, so when you're transferring, you don't need to use them. Then on the bus interchange, after you cross it, uh, it's on the separate crossing, we have some uh, timetables, drink fountain, kiosk, phone booth, seating, and yeah, that's everything here. And then you also have a ramp to get down, escalators to get down in the middle, a lift right there as well. And then this is the bus map here. You can see all the routes between 441 and 449 depart from this station, as well as the 423 and 425, which go over to Sterling Carney up. And then you also have the 344 and 371, which go to Morley and Mirabuka, and the 450, which goes to Lansdale. And then down there, you can this is the ramp and the vending machines at the back. Then right here where the buses enter on the northern side of the station, there's some toilets on the left hand side for public use and also the staff toilets right there. And then at the end there is a staircase to get down. But look at this, let's count the steps. And all the way down, you go down one flight, turn around and go down another one. And there is actually a total of 38 steps on this staircase. Although when we go to Whitford station in a few videos time you'll see that there's less stairs there even though it's meant to be the exact same design which is strange because that means that the bus interchange here is higher than the one at Whitford unless the steps are like smaller but I don't think so so it's slightly higher the bus interchange here than Whitford that's one difference as well but you can't notice that like with your eye pretty much I guess and now here's the bottom of the lift and we're on the platform, just some more seating, a transit officer booth here, some more timetables and then we just walk along here. Right now it's peak hour so we have the Whitford W trains. Then here's the bottom of the escalator and the bottom of the ramp, there's a little information and emergency point there that you can use and you can continue walking along here lots of seating along the side and then you finally get to the uncovered section right at the end of the platform where you can walk all the way to the end and look up the hill where the trains come down there you can see the beach road bridge they actually have made it possible to extend the bus interchange over this uncovered section allowing for five additional bays and more layover bays and new pedestrian access to the beach road bridge and then it'll really be possible to catch the bus if you missed it by running onto beach road but i don't think they'll ever do that that's just how they planned the station when they originally built it with the possibility of doing that there's a lot of construction work happening on the side right now because of the smart freeway upgrade works making a lot of noise with those construction vehicles okay now look at this stupid drink fountain at the station you press the button and then you don't even have to hold it, you just press it, it runs and then after like 4 seconds it stops and you have to press it again and again and again and again. And then on the other side, on the platform platform there's a proper drink fountain. And then there's also this artwork here which was created by Hubert Elliott who used it to display how this new train line at the time would get rid of all the congestion as can be shown by the bun bundle of cars on the right hand side and the train would be the preferred option as it can be seen all alone with the infraration that it's just steaming through and avoiding all the congestion of the gridlock on the Mitchell freeway at the time which they're now trying to fix by building the smart freeway so that's everything now finally let's take a look at the lift just back up to the bus interchange and we'll start the bus clips I'm going to give the station a full rating of 5 stars, it's got all the facilities you need and a great transfer op opportunity since you don't need to tag on and off as it's a control station, so everything is good.